function. It's a little bit artificial, but still, it's, why not? Good function. It is a function of two variables with values in R. A little bit simplistic setup. In our definition works for functions which take values in vectors and which lives on vectors, but this time we just take from two-dimensional vectors to R, with one exception, with a zero point. This dot's supposed to be comma. Just, I just make a note, I want to fix that. So we claim that the limit is one. We can check that, look at this, how we check that. We compute the distance from f value to point one, the one, the value of, of the, the claimed limit, that's the distance, because it's a numbers, the Euclidean distance is just simply absolute value of a difference. Here it is. Well, some arithmetic done is here within this absolute value. This x squared plus y squared is lifted to the numerator. Uh, it cancels these two terms. That's what you end up with. Now, we also compute the distance in the domain between x, y point and the zero point. That's how it is. Now we make this observation. We make this observation that if we take this expression, which represents the distance for f and 1, if you throw extra term in the numerator of this type, and being able to come up with this idea of introducing this extra term, it's a skill which you can pick up from different examples. You can only this, this learn this skill by practicing and looking at how other people do other examples. It's, it's the first time you just you see something, and it's a good thing to remember. Because if I throw this extra term, it's a positive one, so that will make my fraction larger. That's why I put the inequality here. And I throw this for the sole purpose, because if I throw it in, this becomes a perfect square, and I can abbreviate it to something like this. And I can cancel my fraction into simple, single, single expression like, like this. That was the only purpose of ex introducing this extra term, to make it look like this, to make it, can, to make it link to my distance in the xy plane. Because now it's just a square of the distance in the xy plane. And so now I can convince you that for every positive epsilon, no matter how small that epsilon could be, I can produce a choice for delta. This is the very explicit choice for that delta, which works all the time, no matter how small the epsilon is. The actual content is this presentation of delta. This delta works all the time because look at this. As, long, as soon as the distance from x, y to 0 is less than delta, via, via this inequality, the distance from f to 1 will be less than epsilon. Presenting delta as the content of the proof. And all the time, no matter what, all the time, the justification for this presentation will be some sort of inequality. On this occasion, is this inequality. Analysis, like it or not, it's about inequalities, about being able to find proper inequality from, the, from your head, from the record of known inequalities, from your intuition, and being able to put this inequality in the right place. The rest is just beautiful wording around it. 